you tips to connect with FBLA PBL this year. I'm National FBLA PBL Membership Director Lisa Smothers, and I will be leading this session with FBLA National President Jose Espinal and PBL National President Karthik Krishnan. FBLA PBL Communications Manager Laura Morgan will moderate the question and answer portion at the end of today's webinar. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll go over questions at the end of this presentation. Welcome to an exciting new membership year and our first webinar of the year. Let's start with a snapshot of our organization. FBLA PBL is a nonprofit educational association preparing members for careers in business and business related fields. There are four divisions. Our middle school division has more than 20,000 members. The high school is the largest division with 206,000 members. PBL, the post-secondary division, has approximately 10,000 members, and the professional division reaches over 3,000 members. All four divisions work to uphold our mission of bringing business and education together. We do this through service projects that help both the school and the community, hosting state and national leadership conferences where students can network with their peers and business leaders from across the country and implementing co-curricular activities such as the stock market game and the virtual business challenge. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to potential members, administrators, and the community. Here to tell you more about this year's initiatives are your FBLA and PBL national presidents. We will first hear from FBLA National President Jose Espinal. Hello members and advisors. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2015-16 FBLA year. This year we will continue many of our most popular programs and add a few new ones which we hope you will find as exciting as our national officers have. Today I have four key areas that I would like to share. First, recruitment. This year, our national officers have set the goal of increasing FBLA's membership by 2,016 members. While the goal is a start, we need your help in order to realize this objective and expand the impact of our association. To help with the recruitment, we have started Connect 10, an initiative that rewards chapters that increase their membership by 10 or more over the last year's number. Chapters that meet this criterion will receive a ribbon at the National Leadership Conference. If you are a seasoned veteran of FBLA, think back to the experiences that being a member of the association has provided you. Picture the conferences you have attended, the knowledge you have gained, and the friends you have made. If you are a new member, look at how bright your future has become. Join me in increasing recruitment this year, and we can bring those experiences and brighter futures to thousands more students like us. Second, councils. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be part of the national officer team? If so, I encourage you to apply for a position as a national president's assistant or council member. Applications are available on the national president Facebook page and on the national president Twitter, at FBLA president. As an NPA or council member, you will have the unique opportunity to work directly with the national officers as we manage and create resources for our members. Third, BAA and March of Dimes. The Business Achievement Awards are now open. The BAA allows members to compete, complete activities that both teach about and contribute to FBLA. As activities are completed, members can win four incremental awards, Future, Business, Leader, and America. As we are open for business for the new year, you can start planning fundraisers for the March of Dimes. Sample ideas are available on the national website. Fourth, and finally, NFLCs. Our National Fall Leadership Conferences are a fantastic opportunity to network with members from around the country and participate in workshops designed to teach leadership skills and business essentials. This year, our three NFLCs will be held in Omaha, Nebraska, Charleston, South Carolina, and Baltimore, Maryland. Your FBLA national officers are piloting a new track exclusively for freshmen and sophomore members at the Baltimore NFLC. FBLA Foundations is a chance to learn about FBLA PBL and the leadership opportunities available while networking with national officers. Advisors, you may register for the NFLCs by visiting the NFLC page of our website at fbla-pbl.org slash 2015 NFLC. Now, I will turn it over to PBL National President Karthik Krishnan. 
Thanks, Jose. Um, I'll be attending the Baltimore NFL season, so I'm really excited to see how foundations go. Greeting members, I hope that your semester is off to a great start. I have just a few updates from the Collegiate Division, or Phi Beta Lambda. I have the pleasure of introducing the Updated Career Membership Achievement Program, or CMAP. The new CMAP is currently live and is accepting new participants. The program is totally revamped and member-friendly. Activities have been updated from previous years, and the members can now use tablets and smartphones to submit their entries. Be on the lookout for a short video that details more about this exciting new program. Make sure you and your chapters check out all the new activities. Your national officers have chartered a new committee to revise and resubmit a bylaw amendment similar to the one proposed at the NLC in Chicago. I'm proud to say that we have a new finished product that you can get really excited about. We'll provide you more information as the year continues. Don't forget to sign up for Super Sweeps. Check it out on our national webpage, fbla-pbl.org, or check it out on any of the PBL national officers' social media pages. It was, a quite, it was quite close last year, so make sure you get those points for your local chapter and state chapters. Super Sweeps is the first step in the chapter challenge, which earns you recognition for your chapter at the National Leadership Conference. Now it's time to start recruiting and getting in those dues before the October 20th deadline. You want your members to get the most benefit out of being a PBL member, so the earlier the better. Make sure to reach out to those prospective students so they can join this amazing association. Back to you, Lisa. Thank you, Jose and Karthik. We'll hear more from you in a few minutes. We'll now share resources available to our members and chapters and provide ideas for your chapter this year. Each year, your chapter receives a membership poster to display in your advisor's classroom or around campus. This year's poster highlights our theme, Connect. Students should pay dues right away so they can be submitted by October 20th, which is the first membership deadline. Remember, students do not receive membership benefits until dues are paid. The most important resource that any chapter has is its membership. Many local chapters form a recruitment committee that involves both new and returning members. Get the word out about FBLA PBL. Let people know what FBLA PBL has to offer. Remember, people like visuals. Create a chapter display case and keep it up to date with pictures, articles, and awards. Design chapter t-shirts for all members to wear on the day of chapter meetings. The FBLA PBL Marketplace can make custom chapter t-shirts for your local chapter. Talk it up. Members who are enthusiastic about FBLA PBL will spark an interest in other prospective members. Karthik, can you share some tips on recruiting? Again, Karthik, um, can you share some tips on recruiting, and then maybe Jose can share a few tips? I've got it, Lisa. Sorry, my microphone went away. Thank you, Ms. Mothers. One of the most important things to remember when recruiting is to set a goal for your chapter. How many members would you like to gain? It's always good to set high expectations. Next, set a game plan. Create a list of steps that you will take in order to recruit your new members. What kind of people are you looking to attract? How will you advertise? What will you say once you've caught the attention of the new members? Don't forget about those who were members of your chapter last year. You should rely on them for help with your recruiting efforts. Be sure to look at national FBLA PBL programs and awards, such as the Membership Achievement Award, to help you set your membership goals so that you can earn additional, additional national recognition for your chapter. You need to plan to meet on a regular basis. How often will we up to the advisor? With other school organizations and clubs competing for membership, it's important that FBLA PBL makes a lasting impression on prospective new members. Publicity is critical. In order to communicate to your students what FBLA PBL does, what it stands for, and for the opportunities any person can experience as a member. Remember, food helps. Now here's Jose to tell you about what should happen in a local chapter meeting. Developing an agenda is extremely important to keep everyone on track and focused on our mission. Have your officers discuss the different activities that the local chapter will participate in. Be sure to look at national programs to earn national recognition for your members and chapters. Hand out a recruitment brochure highlighting events and important dates. If your officers utilize an agenda to stay organized and make the meetings informative and fun, you will be well on your way to a successful year. FBLA PBL members constantly use technology, so use it to your advantage. 
When students join your chapter, record their cell phone numbers and email addresses. Divide up the list among your local chapter officers so that they can text reminders to all members about meetings, projects, or activities. Have your members go through the various sections of the national website. There is a wealth of information on conferences, scholarships, programs, and activities. In addition, follow National FBLA PBL on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. FBLA PBL offers several incentives to local chapters and members to help build membership. Members recruiting either 5 or 10 new members are rewarded with a certificate of recognition through the Membership Madness and Membership Mania programs. Chapters are recognized with certificates of recognition for increasing the membership totals from the previous year are signing up all students in one class for FBLA PBL. Please note, you may only receive 100% class participation for one class each year. April 1st is the deadline for many of these awards. Jose, back to you. Our curriculum-related programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice the skills and knowledge that they are learning in the classroom. From the Virtual Business Challenge to Lead to Feed to America Saves Week, the possibilities are endless. Members and advisors also have the opportunity to enter the CTE Public Service Announcement Contest with entries due October 30th. Plan a visit to a local business for American Enterprise Day on November 15, and celebrate World Prematurity Day on November 17 by raising funds and awareness for the March of Dimes. Information on these programs and all our partners can be found on the Chapter Management Handbook or online under Membership Benefits. Our national programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice their skills and knowledge that they're learning in the classroom. Let's focus on the Chapter Challenge, which begins with Super Sweeps, a recruitment and retention program that chapters can participate in right now. Chapters must complete four required activities and six other activities from the list of optional activities for a total of 10 activities. The deadline for submission is Tuesday, October 20th at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. All chapters completing this form and meeting all requirements will receive special ribbons for all chapter delegates in attendance at NFLC and again NLC. Activities the chapters can participate in range from recruiting five paid underclassmen to preparing recruitment flyers and fact sheets or planning an induction ceremony for members. Advisors, register your chapter now on the homepage of the national website. And don't forget to check out all of our national programs that are listed in our chapter management handbook. We hope that you're making plans to attend one of the national fall leadership conferences in November. Each city will feature a state officer track where FBLA and PBL state teams will learn how to use national programs and social media to recruit and retain members and be able to network with FBLA, PBL, and and the Professional Division National Officers. Don't miss PBL Pathways exclusively at the Baltimore National Fall Leadership Conference. This series of workshops prepares PBL members for successful future careers. Members will attend NFLC sessions on Friday and then have specialized workshops, workshops on Saturday. Also exclusive to Baltimore is the FBLA Foundations Track, offering FBLA freshmen and sophomores a chance to learn about FBLA PBL and the leadership opportunities available while networking with national officers. And the FBLA middle level program designed specifically for our middle level members will be held at the Charleston NFLC. We hope to connect with you at one of our NFLCs. The National Leadership Conference concludes the year and sets the stage for the next school year. The best and the brightest of FBLA and PBL convened to compete in leadership events, share their successes, and learn new ideas about shaping their career, their career future through workshops and exhibits. Next year's NLC will be here before you know it, so make plans now to make sure that your chapter is in attendance. Thank you, Jose Karthik and Mrs. Smothers um, for leading us today. So it looks like we had a number of questions that were submitted during our presentation, so we'll start getting to those now. If we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any questions that we're not able to get to. Okay, so it looks like our first question is, how do I sign up for CMAP? Karthik, why don't you take this one? The brand new CMAP is completely intuitive and very easy. The, the first thing you need to do is contact your local chapter advisor and have them set you up with a login and password on the CMAP website. And that page is accessible at fbla-pbl.org. 
Once your advisor sets you up with your own individual password and login, you're able to get right and started on all the new activities for this brand new year. Great, thank you. Okay, um, looks like our next question, um, kind of related to CMAP, it says, if I started a level of the Business Achievement Awards last year, do I have to start over this year? Jose? Fortunately, you don't have to start over. So anything that you didn't finish the year before, let's say you did the future award, uh, you don't have to restart. So you can keep on going and progressing through your BAA program this year. Okay. okay, another question that we received is, where can I get the membership poster? And I'll actually answer this one. Um, every local chapter receives a printed copy of the membership poster. Your advisor should get that with their chapter management handbook or their chapter management handbook updates. Um, we will also have a PDF available online by the end of this week so that you can print as many as you would like. So um, just watch the national homepage. We'll have it on there. And we'll also announce it with a link through social media. Okay, so our next question says, um, can I go to any NFLC or is my state assigned to a specific city? Jose? Sure, I'll answer this question. So you're actually able to go to any NFLC that you'd like. However, first make sure to check with your state to make sure that your state isn't going to a certain NFLC as a group. But if you're just going on your own, you're free to pick whichever one you'd like. Thanks. Right. What is a good chapter project to get the year started? Um, Jose and Karthik, why don't you each give us your suggestion for this? Let's start with Karthik. The first the project I would start the year off with is Super Sweeps. It's a really easy way to get recognition for all the things that you're already doing in your local chapter. Recruiting members, holding your first meeting, getting set up, um, and definitely it's a great way to get some recognition. Sure. So um, just to share a local project that uh, we've done in the past, uh, if there's any way that you can get some of your members on announcements or on video announcements to talk about the benefits of FBLA and specifically the benefits of FBLA at your local chapter at your school, that can uh, make a huge difference in recruitment and you want to make sure that you focus on recruitment early on so that you can get all of your members, uh, new members recruited and old members that are coming back paying their dues before October 20th so that they can receive full benefits. Great. Okay, the next question is where can I find more information on the chapter challenge? Ms. Smothers, why don't you take this one? That's a really good question. Um, the chapter challenge, let me first explain what it is. It comprises of three things, and we said that in our webinar, Super Sweeps, which is going on now, and it really focuses on recruitment and retention, getting organized, getting your members involved. Then Nonstop November focuses on American Enterprise Day, which is November 15th, and it also focuses on Prematurity Awareness, because even though Prematurity Awareness Day is November 17th, that whole month really focuses on that. So it kind of gets your chapters moving into the different dates and areas of that. And finally, Action Awareness focuses on FBLA PBL Week and Career and Technical Education Month, which is in February, and FBLA PBL Week is the second week of February. So the best place to find information on this is the Chapter Management Handbook. We also have it online. If you're a state officer, you can go to the state officer boardroom and view the newest update for that. And for people that are regular members, starting tomorrow, we'll post some links in on our Facebook page so you can get in and look at the preview activities. Because even though the actual activities don't, don't open up until specific dates, it's always good to kind of take a look at the preview activities and do some planning. Hope that answers your question. Thanks. All right, it says, I've heard people talk about having a 30-second PBL elevator pitch. Um, what is yours, Karthik? I always say a good elevator pitch has three parts. First, your story. Second, information about the organization. And third, the call to action. So the first thing I say is, hi, my name is Karthik. I serve as division president for 5A Lambda. That's my personal story. Then I talk about FBLA PBL in general. I say PBL is the largest student business organization on college campuses. Um, the sister organization of FBLA, which is the college, which is the high school division. Um, we have 250,000 members across the nation. And then my call to action really varies with who my audience is. If it's a potential sponsor, I say, let's, why don't we set, down, set a time to talk about how you can potentially sponsor our local chapter. If it's an administrator, I want to talk about how we can get them involved in the classroom. Different things for different people. 
Great, thanks, Karthik. Okay, looks like we have time for one more question. So um, here's one that'll work for both of you. It says, what is your best recruitment tip for my chapter to get new members if you could only pick one? Jose, why don't you go first? Sure, uh, so mine is a bit broad, but it is start early. Um, and if, if there's really one that I could pick, it, it is start early in the year. So now as you're coming back to school, many of our local chapters are opening back school uh, last week and this week. So start getting those members, go into your business classrooms. Uh, if there are any members that you can pull into the organization early, those are members that will stick with you throughout the year and will contribute to any future programs. So with membership, really, my best tip that I can give you is to start early. Um, I don't mean to minimize college students, but I think what I'll say is they need a hook. And a hook, and a really good hook, is food. Um, I think having an incentive to come to your meeting, things to get involved with, and an opportunity for a light snack, light refreshment, nice meal, would be a great incentive to come and join your meetings. Can I just add on to that, too? Um, I used to be an FBLA advisor and I used to be in PBL so I've kind of been around for a while. These guys will laugh, it kind of dates me, but um, I've taught at a variety of different schools but one of the things that we always use is kind of to jump start everything is we took as many kids as wanted to go and really advertise the NFLCs because the, one of the greatest things about FBLA and PBL is travel and going to different places and networking with all sorts of people and it's, it's just amazing because you can go to a conference every year and every year even though you've been there before it's completely different and, and nothing's as amazing as walking into one of the opening sessions and watch everybody cheer and get all excited so it just it just really pumps you up with that. Okay. Um, well, if we weren't able to get to your question today, we will email you with a response, so don't worry, we'll get back to you. So we thank all of you for joining us today, and don't miss our next webinar, which is Connect at the NFLCs, scheduled for Wednesday, October 9th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This presentation will be hosted by the FBLA PBL Conference Director, Richard Bowen, and we'll offer a sneak peek at the upcoming NFLCs, which will be held in November. So thanks again for joining us, and we hope you have a great week.